Sicilian defense, open, prince variation, 5, e5 6. nb3. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The C pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the D4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on D4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on D4. When black eventually plays Nf6, white is prevented from moving the piece to E5 by the opening of the light squared bishop on D6. D4 offers to trade the D pawn for the C pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. Cx d4 gives black two central pawns versus one central pawn for white. Nx d4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. F3 defends the e4 pawn and stops the black pieces from coming to g4. e5 takes space in the center attacks the knight on d4 and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. nb3 retreats the attacked knight to a queenside square where it controls the c5 and d4 squares. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. This threatens to kick a knight. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is the final book action. This strikes a rival knight. It is quite good. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. This protects a weak piece by trapping one of its assailants. It is ideal. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. This overlooks a better way to develop a knight off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is quite good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is best. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is quite good. That's fine. It is good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Backs off. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is excellent. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This threatens to win a pawn. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. This poses a threat to an outpost manned by a knight. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Very precise. It is best. That's fine. It is good. A solid choice. It is excellent. This gives the adversary the chance to win a tempo by posing a knight threat. It is incorrect. This overlooks an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This poses a threat to an outpost manned by a knight. It is incorrect. This misses an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a rook. It is a miss. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. That's good. On the file, 
the rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. It is ideal. This attacks a rook, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This buys time by putting a rook in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This poses a material threat. It is quite good. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it? This allows the opponent to kick a rook. It is a mistake. This misses a chance to kick the rook. It is incorrect. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This provides a free pawn. It is incorrect. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This takes an outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. This threatens to fork pieces. It is good. This misses an opportunity to move a bishop to safety. It is an inaccuracy. This is an equal trade. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This poses a threat to an outpost manned by a knight. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. This misses a better way to take an outpost with a knight. It is a mistake. This threatens to create a passed pawn. This permits the opponent to fork pieces. It is a miss. This forks multiple pieces. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. That rook earns material if it is captured. It is ideal. Recaptures. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That's fine. It is good. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a chance to pose a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. Although white is still in a superior position, they have lost their winning edge. It is incorrect. This pins a queen to the king. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is excellent. This deters an assault on a queen who is weak. It is ideal. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. This permits the opponent to pin a queen to the king. It is an inaccuracy. The rook is now in a safe position. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Black was worse off, but now they are in a losing position. It is an inaccuracy. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. This moves the queen to safety. It is good. This competes for the open file with the opposing rook. That's good. This misses the chance to offer an equitable exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. This seizes a helpless pawn. That's good. Very precise. It is best. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. This allows a forced checkmate. This threatens to play checkmate. It is an inaccuracy. This prevents the opponent from being able to play checkmate. This is the start of the end game and white is winning. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to block a check from the opposing rook. It is an inaccuracy. That was a great move and very hard to find. This is the only move that works. It is brilliant. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. 
White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. 